That is incredibly grim. Get up, it's not that bad. Come on. Get up. Get up. It's not that bad. Yes, sir. I'm right behind you, sir. Oh, he just died. He lied. He lied to me. It is that bad. Well, it's definitely a good month for World War II shooters, as Hell Let Loose has also gotten a significant update this month, and it also added a bunch of new cosmetics. And it also sets the groundwork for expanded cosmetic options as the game continues through development. This update is also being called the Tiger Update by the devs because, as you might expect, it rolls out the Tiger 1 tank, which they describe as rounding out the Germans' tank selection, and they're also hinting at the future edition of the Tiger 2 and some other surprises. First though, let's check out these new super realistic cosmetics here in Hell Let Loose. You guys might remember that I previewed this game a little over a month ago, and I'm really excited to see how quickly they're dropping updates to what's already a really great foundation for this tactical realistic World War II FPS game. The first thing you guys might notice is that this first version of the cosmetic and customization options is a bit limited for this first iteration. Most of your changes are going to be your helmets and your faces, with a couple of winter uniforms for the Axis, I believe. All kinds of really neat camos here, including one for a pre-order purchase it looks like. Ah, missing the Kickstarter backer one. This guy is just real happy about going to war. So you have your different faces, oh man. Yeah, that guy's seen some things. <laughs> I think I might actually stick with the default one. And then I just have the uh, single assault uniform unlocked at the moment. But you can rotate and really appreciate the level of detail that's gone into these guys. I'm going to assume that we're going to see uh, more involved camo in the future. But for now, it looks like mainly your, uh, your helmets and your faces are what you can customize for most of these classes. That being said, the individual uniforms are already fantastically detailed. I'm excited to see what kind of cosmetics you might get to add on top of them down the road. Perhaps different options for, say, the machine gunner right here to have uh, different ammunition slung across him, different pouches and patches and the like. That's the kind of cosmetics that I'd really love to see, where you start with the base accurate uniforms and then just add slight different details that people can change to make their soldiers their own. Also, can we just talk about this background music and effects? They're fantastic. What do we have for the Axis? For the sniper, ooh, yeah, let's go with the ghillie style veil, M42 veil. So it looks like one of the main cosmetics right now is the winter trench coat, which is available, okay, yeah, for uh, basically all of the classes, all the way down. This is a great start, guys. I love the authenticity and realism shown here. Just looks great. Alright, let's hop in and see if we can spot ourselves a tiger tank. Playing as the Americans here. I can build a here. So it's not going to be a good encounter if I see one. I've just spawned into the sound of non-stop machine gun fire, so this can only be a good sign. Medic. Uh, crawling back. Crawling back. Thank you. Wait, are we getting machine gun from the side? Is that a Panzer? That is, in fact, a Panzer. Don't think that's a Tiger. I think that's a Panther. 
You guys, well, of course, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh! Alright, different spawn. Let's see if I can get up on the left side of the objective. Really wish I had a sidearm, because six mags for the bar does not feel like a whole lot at 20 rounds apiece. Oh, I still have a ways to go. Someone just shoot at me? Oh! It's a German on top of that pile of logs. Hopefully our commander doesn't get shot, and he just got shot. They're in the woods here with us. So that's a friendly. Over there. All it takes is one guy to really efficiently spawn trap you. I just need him to take some shots so I can figure out where he is. I swear I hear shots over here. found you, you bastard. I heard his bolt. That was amazing. Got a second one there. Pushing our spawn. Didn't see where his friend got me from though. These woods are completely overrun. So much for this being a safer spawn. That's a friendly. I'll help him push. Got him. Nazis sure do love their log piles. What is this guy doing? Oh! Besides attracting attention. Ow. Ow. <laughs> well, I got my revenge on the spawn campers at least. No, uh, no tiger ones though. And here we go. I think I'm gonna put an ammo stash right up here. Yep. Here goes my squad mate. I think I'll stop right here. Oh, that's close. Please be friendly. Is that a GI? That was. I almost got rocketed there. Oh no. Ow. Frag out. Can I top off the internal magazine? Okay, yes. Oh. That was over the house. That kind of worked. I meant to go in the window, but... That guy's exploded.
Why am I in the front again? I'm always on the front lines. Last stand, boys. This is it. Okay, he got that guy. Jeez, I see more across in the barn. I'm gonna get shot from that back window, I just know it. This is nerve-wracking. Missed. I was there for a split second. That was a hit, not sure if that was a kill. They're just charging in now. Where did they all go? I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna stay here and defend this place. I get tired of losing the places there after we capture them. There's one. My window. Mine. I'm up there in the top, in the attic. Don't know if I got him or not. Oh, I don't think that was the guy in the attic. That was a last stand and a half, though. All right, guys. Well, no tiger tank in sight for us, unless that's what rolled past me and got immediately destroyed. But, uh, the game remains incredibly intense and a ton of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.